I knew growing up that I've always wanted to move to the United States to study English and to pursue a higher education. But growing up in a low-income family, not speaking English and not really knowing anybody that moved here made the task very difficult. So finally, back in 2013, an opportunity came up for me to move to Utah to study computer science at the University of Utah. It was as if my dreams to immigrate here were finally coming true. So at this point, I am already living in Utah for over a year. I'm going to school there. And one day at this job fair, these army recruiters um, have, they have a booth there. And I decided to um, approach them and see what opportunities were available for me. And to my surprise, they were actually looking for people just like me. Immigrants, fluent in a target language that the army needed, and with a background in computer science. So at that moment, I had found my pathway to citizenship. Initially, I thought that the opportunity would put me on a very smooth path towards citizenship, but little did I know that I had an entire legal ordeal um, waiting for me. Um, six months after my, in, I signed my enlistment contract, the Department of Defense decided to terminate the program that I had enlisted on. At the time, that was an absolute nightmare for me. I decided to contact the media. I was, at the time, still living in Salt Lake City, and they were very approachable, open, and helpful to uh, my message. They um, run my interview the next day, and despite not really wanting any of the publicity that came with it, I was able to get help uh, from an attorney who offered her services completely free to uh, file a lawsuit for me so that I could actually win citizenship and serve in the army. I was so grateful for uh, the attorney that decided to offer her services pro bono for me. And we have stayed in touch throughout the years. She has been an amazing friend and a mentor, and I can't really thank her enough for all that she has done. It was at that moment that I realized that maybe I could do something like that to others. I didn't really know that I would, I had a passion for the legal career, but the necessity that I had to fight for my own rights as an immigrant and as a first generation American forced me to engage with lawsuits and class actions and immigration law. Bev, she has been an incredible mentor for me. She has not only been uh, the ideal example of the kind of professional that I want to be, but also an amazing human being, kind, charitable, with a mind set on public service and a clear disposition of helping others. So after my military service, I had another barrier, which was I had to get education if I wanted to go to law school. I researched and looked around for universities that I could apply to, and I, that's when I came across Columbia as one of the options. After visiting the campus and talking with some of the, uh, the deans and the advisors, I very quickly knew that this was the place that I wanted to be. So I applied, got accepted, and I am now a rising senior at Columbia. Very excited to the years to come. I will be applying for law school this coming cycle with the hope of starting my law school education in the fall of 2023. I plan to work with uh, emerging technologies and utilizing, utilizing emerging technologies to address social challenges in the, in the legal field. My time at the military was 
invaluable. I learned a lot of discipline, um, friendship, and just this determination to never really give up and never, um, never give in. I today I carry with me most of the traits that I learned through my military service um, and some of the habits that I had. I wake up early every day, I exercise, I have a very specific study routine that has really helped me to stay on top of my classes and of the course load that I have.